This is a typical scene in the Netherlands, where to the left you see the sea, we're riding on a dike, and to the right you see the land where the people live. The dike protects us from the water. Typically for the Netherlands is that water levels are much higher than land levels. In this particular case you see that the land level is roughly 5 meters below sea level. But there are areas in the Netherlands where people locally live 10 meters below sea level. I climbed up this balcony which is around 10 meters above the ground. Now have a look with me down. Imagine that all the way from down there where the road is up till here where we are standing there would be water. And this would be the case if the Dutch for centuries would not have systematically studied the issue of water and come up with many different creative solutions for it. The systematically studying problems and finding solutions is part of the Dutch culture. For many reasons of course, but I think this water issue is one of the most important reasons. People in the past who would not be capable of systematically studying the water issue and finding solutions would simply not survive in this country. It is with pride that I can facilitate you from the Netherlands in mastering the techniques of systematically studying problems and finding solutions for it. I am Alexander de Haan and I warmly welcome you in this online course on solving complex problems. Whether defending your country against flooding or solving a jigsaw puzzle like this, both is a situation for which you'd like to find an answer. Now a jigsaw puzzle like this, a 12 piece jigsaw puzzle, uh, is a simple problem with one simple single right answer. You probably solve it with your little nephew. You can make it a little bit more difficult if you try to solve a jigsaw puzzle of a thousand pieces like this one. It's much more difficult, much more pieces, but still there's also one correct answer. Now there are problems in which there is no such thing as the single correct answer. For instance, if you want to have dinner tonight with your five flatmates, it is a simple problem because you sit around the table and you solve it together, but it does not have one correct answer. There's one person who doesn't like Chinese and prefers Italian. There's another person who'd like to spend lots of time around the table to have a cozy meal. There's a person that wants to have a quick bite because he or she has to go to the training of football or basketball or hockey. And there's always a person that is on a particular diet. Now, you can also have difficult problems that do not have one correct answer. For instance, if you are the minister of a nation and you want to try and find a solution for how to best educate the people in your country. So, let me summarize for you. We just discussed that there are two sorts of problems. One for which there is an ultimate right answer, that is the not complex problem. and one for which there is no such thing as the ultimate right answer. This we call complex problems. And we've seen that there are simple problems and difficult problems. Now an example of a not complex simple problem is this nine piece jigsaw that we saw. Slightly more difficult but still not complex because there is one certain solution is the thousand piece jigsaw. And if you think a thousand pieces is not difficult then make it 10,000 pieces or 110,000 but you get what I mean. A simple complex problem that we discussed for instance is the what to eat tonight problem as everybody has different ideas on what to eat tonight. And a more difficult complex problem is, for instance, the Minister of Education who wants to know what the best way is to educate people. Now in this course we will focus on simple and difficult problems, but all of them will be complex problems. We think that the problems that you encounter in your daily life, close to you or on a larger scale like nationwide or worldwide, are most of the time complex problems. So this course focuses on analytical systematic techniques 
to deal with those complex situations. And at the same time, it focuses on you, on who you are, what you're good at and what you need from others also to deal with these complex situations. We think that both streams, so the analytical tools and your knowledge about yourself and what you need from others, together enhance each other in getting a firm grip on complex situations. So again, I welcome you warmly in this course and I wish you lots of success and I really hope you do enjoy the course. Now it is really time to start and do the first couple of exercises in this station number one. And I'll see you in the next video.